So I really need my makeup done tonight because I've got the launch party for my Bella Sorella tour, which kicked off in Fashtag in London. So I've got loads of people coming down, friends and family, some celebs, some press. So I need to look all glam and not sweaty. So Amazing. you need to work your magic, Olivia. I will, no <laughs> problem. Well, I think I'm going to start yep. on you with using, this is from Shuramoram. Yep. It's a UV base, sort of a mousse. And this is like using a primer, but it's a mousse, so it's really, really light. Okay. Some primers are quite moisturizing and thick, and they kind of make you sweat more. So this. I it's always so find as well that some primers have got like a bit of a shimmer in them. Yeah. And I don't like that look. I like it like matte and... Yeah, you don't like the sparkle. Some of them yeah. have like sparkle pigments. They in. do, don't they? Um, I find it quite hard to find one that doesn't. This one's it's just moussey, so it's like so light. Helps keep your makeup on. Mm. Has like a tiny bit of coverage in it, so some people like to wear it on its own. Really? But I think for me, I like... I mean, I'm a makeup artist. I love to wear like a foundation and yeah. have everything looking flawless. Whereas some people, though, sort of wear this. Just Some people wear same. hardly any makeup, don't they? Yeah, I wish I could be one of those people. Me too. <laughs> the thing is, when I see girls that wear such natural makeup, I'm always like, oh, I'd love to try that look. Yeah. And then I do try that look, and I feel like I look like I've just woke up. So here I've got Matte Studio Fix. Yes, um, my favourite foundation. Yeah, it's a nice matte one. It is nice and matte, but I still feel like it does leave a little bit. Like sometimes you can see my freckles through it, which I quite like. Yeah, exactly. And I've got a mix of two shades here. Yeah. In case, especially sometimes it's nicer as well. A slightly dark one, you can put more areas that you want to be a slightly more bronze. Yeah. Do you sometimes put like the lighter colours like, under the eyes and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I've seen Kim Kardashian's like makeup tutorials, and they always like put light yeah. foundation underneath your eyes and nose and stuff. Her face is like properly sculpted oh by God. foundation. I saw that there's this like new thing that loads of people were using that apparently Kim Kardashian uses. It's like a pink sponge from MAC. Have you seen it? Oh yeah, yeah, I've that, seen it. It looks a bit like a red nose. Yeah. But yeah it's yeah. pink. Are they good? Have you used them? They are good, yeah. The only thing some people find with sponges is they can eat a lot of your product. I think there's something really therapeutic as well about putting it on the brush. Yeah, it's like painting your face. Yeah. Like, I feel like Vincent van Gogh when I do my makeup yeah. on my brush. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I am just going to take it down onto your neck a tiny bit, which is also good in the heat because sometimes your neck can go, you know, you can get very flushed in your neck and chest. So yeah. it's good just to keep that. A lot down. of people forget to do their necks as well, don't they? And then it never blends. Yeah, exactly. Because I've got quite like a red tinge to my skin. Sometimes when I don't do my neck, I have like yeah. a perfect face and a red neck. Yeah, exactly. You sort of blend it down. If you stick up for me, just going to. How long have you been doing makeup, Olivia? I trained about four years ago um, at a place called Grease Paint. I trained in all aspects of makeup and hair as well, but I am far more trained in makeup and experience. I can do like I can do good simple hair, like nice curl and nice blow dry, but I don't think I could do sort of the fancy updos. What's your favourite eyeshadow, MAC or Urban Decay? I prefer MAC because they're less glistening, like you can mix, but my MAC palette is like ones that I've collected. You can make with MAC, you can collect them. Yeah, and then and Yeah. I like to use a bit of Urban Decay just like in the middle. Yeah. A lot of people do go on about Urban Decay eyeshadows, but I always find them like really They're nice, shining. but they're very like fun. Yeah. It's great if you're going for like a really fun sort of zazzy sort of yeah, look. Yeah, definitely. Right, here I'm just using a sort of lightish brown which I'm gonna put on first because then I can put a dark brown in between and it gives the smoky sort of look. Okay. Just gonna pop the tissue under so in case you get any drop down, it just controls it. How long is your tour going on for? So this is our first tour day, London, and this is our first day. Exciting. But it goes on for two months. It's really exciting because it's like a nice way to like go and meet everyone who's like fans of the show and fans of the shop as well because we get a lot of sales as well on our online from those cities we kind of chose the cities where we get most of our sales mm -hmm. um so it's just nice to kind of go up there and visit the customers and bring it to them and they can try things on so now i'm just putting some of the darker brown by your lashes and just into the crease of your eye to bring out the eyes 
just to darken it for a more evening look. I love having brown on my eyes as well because it always makes blue eyes stand out more, yeah. doesn't it? Brown and blue is just such a good mix. If I have like a black smoky eye, I feel like it kind of hides my eyes. It's Same with me because mine are green then, they're oh, not yeah, blue, but green. I can't do but I can't do a black one no. either. It just or a grey. It kind of just makes my eyes like shy away, like you can't really yeah, see so, them. Yeah, silvery greys aren't great for me either. I like browns, my favourite brown. I can do like brown and golds as well. What I'm gonna do now is you just look up for me. I'm just gonna pop a bit of the brown eyeshadow on your under eye. How many brushes do you use on your eye line? See, I have four, but I don't feel like I've probably got enough. You know what on my eyes when I'm doing it, I normally just use two. But I'm a big fan of double dipping my brush into every colour. I'm awful. I'll like, use one brown and they'll be like, oh, a bit of gold, and they'll be like, yeah. oh, a bit of lighter gold. I'm so indecisive that I end up mixing all my colours. Everyone's like, oh, I love what you've got in your eyes. Like, what is that? I'm like, everything. <laughs> everything. Like 20 colours. Especially when you have a palette like this. People always like, do that with me with lip, like, lipsticks and stuff like that. Whenever I was on the show, like, they'd be like, oh, what are you wearing on your lips? But I always put on like a, lipstick, a matte lipstick, but then yeah. after about 10 minutes, my lips start cracking. So I put like a gloss, a colour on yeah. top of it. So I always mix my lip colours. What I'm going to do is I've just got the MAC Black Trap pot here. Yep. And I've got a MAC brush here as well. i just pop it on the back of my hand. See, I use mm. this, but it always dries out. Is this the gel? Yeah. Does yours never dry out? I yeah. think it's because when you have it, I think you're meant to put it on the table like that so it doesn't get lots of air to it. The, if you leave it for ages, the lid off, lots of air is going to get to it and it's more likely it to. Out. Just open for me. So I'm just going to go on to the other eye. Yep. Doing a bit of liner. Really good tip for when people are doing liner is to do the main bit of your eye first. And if you're doing a flick out, step back, take a look at where you want the flick to go. So if Lydia opens her eyes for me now, I can see where I want to angle it out. And I can just flick it on the end. What would you say your favourite brand of makeup is? If you could only choose like one brand to buy all your products from. If I had to choose one brand to buy all my products from, I'd probably go for Chanel. Really? I don't love all of their stuff, but I just love their foundations and mascaras. What foundation do you use? At the moment I'm wearing the Vita Lumia Aqua. It's um, water-based, it has like a little ball in it, so you oh, shake yeah. it up. But it's really light for summer because it doesn't have moisture in it. Yeah. It sort of, well, helps you to sweat less. Um, sometimes sweating can't be helped though. No. Um. <laughs> I used to use Chanel foundation. I can't remember what one it's called, but it wasn't Vita Lumia. I think it was Pro Lumia. Oh, yeah, that one's the more matte one. Yeah, see, I use that, and that's supposed to be the more matte one, but I just felt like after, like, four hours, I felt like my face looked like I, it had water seeping out of it. <laughs> it made my face go so shiny and oily. I think it depends on your skin type. If I get you to look up for me. Yeah. Just popping. A little bit of brown under the eye. Do you wear mascara on your bottom lashes? Um, yeah, I do. Do you want some mascara? Oh, you know, yeah. this is my fave mascara. I used to always wear Chanel and Dior, which obviously is quite expensive. Yeah. And my mum introduced me to this over Christmas. My mum was like, I've read up on this mascara. She put it on me and my sister's stocking. She's like, it's so good. It's got the best ratings. It is the Colossal Express Mascara from Maybelline. It just makes your lashes look great, it lasts for ages. I've seen the advert for it. Yeah, because you know when you're saying, you know, my mum said it, I was like, oh, mum, you're just reading into magazines again. <laughs> and then I was like, wow, actually, not too bad. Also as well, when it dries out, a good tip is that you can put it under just a tiny drop of water and put it back in for the night, and then it sort of will give you like another two or three goes out of your mascara when it's really started to dry out. What, you put water in there too? And then the... like say the brush, just pop that under, drop a drop on tap, shake it out, pop it back in. Oh, really? And then I think it just is basically just putting more moisture to the product that's left in there. So you can get like a few more, a few more uses out of it. Mine never lasts that long, so I always lose them on that side. <laughs> Perfect. And then for, I have for bronzer, which yeah. I really, really like. This is a Chanel one. It's sort of like a mousse to powder. Oh my God, do you know what? Everyone, no, but everyone goes on about this and you can never buy it. Because all my friends are obsessed with yeah. it. So good. Being from Essex, everyone always wears bronzer as yeah. well. It's almost like moussey, but you can like put your brush, it's not moussey, but like creamy. 
put your brush oh, in. Yeah. I bet it's so much easier to contour with as well because I always find that with um, like a bronzer as well, sometimes when I contour, like if it's not dark enough, I'll put more on and then it will go like a muddy look. Yeah, no, exactly. Now, Lydia, are you a blush fan or do you just like... No, I don't normally bronze? wear any, any I pink or anything I actually think seeing we've got pink on your lips and a dark eye, maybe blush is best to... Yeah, I don't normally ever so wear it. Bronze. I normally just stick to, like, contoured cheeks. Sometimes I'll put, like, a coral on or, like, a highlighter here, but I don't really ever wear pink. Yeah, so it's nice to have the bronze Yeah, that's handler. Handler. I'm not a huge blusher fan. No. I think it looks great on, I know what, I think it looks amazing on really pale skin. You know when somebody's really pale and they've yeah. got like a nice blush, I think that's stunning. This is Snob, it's sort of fun, summery, slightly bubblegummy, but when you blend it, you can make it like a weaker color. It goes into like more of just a baby pink. If you want your lips to look bigger, you can get, I can see I've got two Chaclair here, which has like a tiny bit of light reflecting mm. particles. Just put it in the V of your lip. And in the bow, and that brings out that top bit of your lip more to make your lips look a bit bigger. Hopefully someone might kiss me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> here I've just got the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. They're really good because they have like a foundation, just feather them over any blemishes and blend it in and they're really long lasting. I have a little bit of Laura Mercier. This is like, it's translucent powder so it has no colour to it. I've just got a little brush and just especially over T-zone, anywhere where you'll get shine. And it's just like your blotting powder? Yeah, exactly. Blotting, it will keep the makeup on. Do you stop the matte shine? One? I do actually, yeah. The MAC one's got more of a white colour, hasn't it, than this one? Yeah, this one, it just as well, it's a bit lighter, so it'll, when you put it on, it isn't as powdery, you know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't look as powdery. Yeah, because I do think the MAC one's good if you like matte skin, because it does matte you up a lot more, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Cool, and we have... Thank you, you. thank you so great. much, Olivia. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Thank you so much. I love what you've done with my eyes. I love this lip colour as well, I'm definitely going to buy this. It? It's really nice, because yeah, it's in between like a pinky nude, isn't it? Yeah. It's not what it's I was like think. It's got like a fun colour as well, so it's kind of fun yeah. pinky. If I opened it up in there, I would never ever get it, because quite it looks purple, looks doesn't scary, it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's thank great. you so much, Olivia. We have to stay around for some bubbles. Definitely. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let us know what products you like and what you use at home and what you want to try. And don't forget to comment and subscribe to Fashion Tag. Thank you guys. Thanks guys. Bye.